In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to subdivide surfaces when rendering with Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this movie, I'm using the Machinery 01.C4D scene. So I'm going to zoom in here and let's select this object right here. It's panel 28. As you can see, it's fairly faceted in our render. So it has hard edges and I'd like it to be a bit smoother. So what I'll do is I'm going to go into tags and choose C4D octane tags, octane object tag. And in the options here, I'm going to switch to subdivision group. And under subdivision group, I have three options. So I have subdivision level. If I set this to one, you can see the object becomes smoother. Still a little bit faceted there. I've subdivided it one time. So if I move this to two, it subdivides it two times. Now it's nice and smooth, maybe a little too smooth. If I want to sharpen it up a little bit, I can use the subdivision sharpness. So if I set this to like 0.2, it gets a little bit sharper. Let's try 0.5. So you can see now some of the shape is coming back, but it's a little bit smooth. So if I go all the way up to one, it's starting to look a little bit faceted again, but you get the idea. You can adjust this as needed in order to create that kind of balance between smoothness while still retaining the original shape. You also have subdivision scheme. The default is Catmull Clark, which is generally the best. We also have Catmull Clark with smoothing variant, loop, and bilinear. In some cases, you're not going to see much of a difference. It just depends on the uh, algorithm you choose to use plus the model that you're working with. And of course, you can read uh, all about the differences between the different subdivision schemes within the Octane documentation. That's the basics of subdividing surfaces with Octane for Cinema 4D.